Hi there, and welcome back to another tutorial on Peter Malloy Architect. Um, on this tutorial, what I'm going to be covering is various roof types um, and how to design them. So just what I've created here is just four different um, types of kind of walls that are coming up to meet a roof. Um, so to start you off today, you want to go into um, a, a floor plan, ideally, um, and create your walls that are going to be part of your construction whether that be you know commercial or whether that's residential or whatever you're doing so these like we're just typically taking like let's say the exterior of a house um we're going to come up here to roof um you can do various different types of um roof by extrusion roof by face all the various types of guttering and soft and fascia but they're for uh, another day so what we're going to come into is roof by footprint which is Kind of standard way of going about creating a roof um, so you can either grab a roof and come to the extents of your wall here um, or you can actually come in here grab this green fella here and this will pick by line and you can offset that um, we'll offset this by let's say 300 so let's create this here that has, so it has a, a bit of a um, just a 300 offset from the actual wall of the house which is usually the case um, it, that is it overswings the, uh, the exterior of a house by, by a certain margin so we'll just press yes on that would you like um, to attach highlight walls to roof not at this stage um, so as you can see that came in at, at ground level um, so we can bring this up to our first lower eaves which is around where the eaves are going to be coming in on this um, on this roof um, so when you're just creating these different levels you want to be able to create create you know your, your ease or maybe your ridge level just so um, so I'll give you an example here if you come up to your ridge level that's coming up to the top of let's say wherever the ridge of your roof is happening so I've just created these for example um, you can get more accurate yourself um, on your own project but this is just for example so I'll just come back to upper eaves um so if you want to just create a flat roof um for the beginning one um we'll just come in here and edit you click one of these lines and you want to define a slope and we're, we'll just take let's say say a 10 degree slope on this and just press ok and what that'll do is that'll give you a slope of 10 degrees sloping downward this direction so once you create this this degree angle um that'll show up as 10 degrees coming this direction and alternatively if you create on this one it's going to slope that direction the the, the, the opposite direction so just press correct uh, a tick on that and I'll just press tab and I'll grab all these walls and I'll attach top to base and there you have it that's a uh, a, a, a sloped roof um, yeah so we'll move on to the second one there so if you come back into ground level um, now ideally if you want to create um, these on the level um, so we'll come up to we'll just go, if you go up to upper ridge we should be able to see the other uh, the other roof there so that that fell is there and uh, yeah we'll come in and we'll do a different type of roof in here we'll probably just do a standard pitch roof here I'll come in again I'll grab 300 offset and I'll just pick these lines just continue sorry I'm just going to pick these lines out here and what I'm going to do I'll just show you that this is a like a, a flat roof um, for the moment um, obviously if you want to create a flat flat roof um, don't create any slopes and just put it on the level that you'd like it to be on um, so I'm just going to put this one on upper eaves again I'm going to come into upper ridge plan I'm just going to put to find slopes on both of these so you can select them both and now you see this kind of um, triangulated um, little little icon here that that'll mean that there is a defined slope on this one and there is a defined slope and you have to click on them to get the degrees so I'll just put these at yeah, 30 is probably grand so I just t put a tick on that and that'll create a standard um, pitch roof so I'll tab again grab all the walls attach top to base sorry I'll tap them again touch top to base and there you go um, so yeah we'll move on to the next one there and as I said if you've any uh, 
any questions or queries relating to these tutorials, please drop a comment in the description below the description there, and uh, yeah, I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, so same again. Um, just do a 300 offset. For the sake of example, we'll just do one that um, that matches up to the actual exterior plane of the house. Um, so that's there. That's an upper ridge. So flat roof again. It'll come out as. I'll bring that fellow back down to upper eaves, and I'll just come into it and edit the element again. I'll do it in. I'll do it in plan. And I'll grab, I'll grab all the 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 um the defining lines, and I'll define slope on each of them. So that's thirty. That's thirty. I'll just push twenty and twenty on these these ones out here, and I'll just press OK, and that'll kind of give you your standard uh, kind of pitched out roof as well. Um, and now you can see that the the walls actually, if I tab them all and attach top to base. These will come up and just meet, meet them flush there. Um, and like, like I said, if you if you want to want that to oversail, just come back into your plan, and uh, you can uh, you can move them manually by putting uh, you know I just put 500. Um, put 500 on this side as well. Oops, really. Put 500 on this plan. And I'll open that one up, and that should oversail 500 on either side and come flush on this side. But um, just for that's just for example sake. Um, I'll come back in and I'll make this one come flush with that again. Just that line to it was very handy there, just, ca just capturing a plane and then lining the line to it. So that's back flush there now again. And yeah, I will. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do a flat roof now. Actually, do you know what we might do? We'll come up to upper ridge and we will create a roof and we'll, we'll mess around with the actual defined. Um, so if I come in here to modify sub elements, this is where it can get um, kind of fun or it can get tricky. <laughs> So I'll add a couple of points in here, just for the sake of example, and I'll come in here and I'll modify those points, modify sub elements. So I'll bring this fella back down to upper ridge again, like the others, and I'll modify the sub elements. The sub elements being these fellas. So if I bring this one up to 300. I'll bring this one up to I'll bring this one up to 300 as well. I'll bring these up to 600. Click these guys. Um, you can also edit it up here um, to get the height on as well. So as you can see, that one is kind of a very—it's—it's uh, it's an awful looking roof, but um, you get the idea that it's. Uh, let's say if this was a flat roof and you're looking for your falls or anything like that. Um, that will do that for you. So if you have a flat roof and you put in torch filtering on it and you need falls, um, that'll get your levels. And if I come into here and click spot elevations, you see the way that is drooping down. So it's starting at 320, come back here at 350, and then 29 at the edge. Um, so yeah, that's what's one way of getting various models and what I might do is I'll try to do a dormer here as well. 
so yeah if you want to create a dormer um, so you're just going to go to your we'll just go to upper ridge for the moment we'll create another roof here sorry it's a floor let's create another roof here and just for the sake of example just put that 2-4 tab grab this center line I'll put it in the center here I'll move this in 600 and then what you're going to do is press OK and then I'm going to define slopes on either side of these and I'll just see yeah, I'll leave them at 30 and then what I'll do is I'll bring this down just bring that down there sweet and uh, I'll just bring this forward a bit this is kind of an important part um, so once you have your your roof um, created like so come in here to modify and join roof um, this is probably the most part important part there of creating a dormer is that they both connect like so and not you don't actually press your join tool here it's more so this fell up here okay um, now that we've that created I'm just gonna come in and make some uh, I'll make some very rough <laughs> walls um, so what I will do is I'll come in here and I will mirror that like so I just edit these very crudely now just for the sake of example um, I'll bring these both down to lower eaves yeah that'll do fine and I'll bring the base of them up maybe a thousand okay guys what I'll do here is I will press I might actually just create the the external wall as well there I'll bring this one down to around that level touch top to base touch in there uh, touch top to base That's this one top to base. Okay, and I'll just chuck a just a very rough window in there as well, just for a sake of example. Once you have that created, then like so, what you want to come in here is dormer and grab this roof, and then what you'll be able to do is grab that roof in there, that roof there, grab the external wall grab this external face of the wall you grab this external face of the wall and you just want to join up those um, those defining marks for the dormer opening um, so as you see pick roof wall edges and what I'm actually doing there is just selecting the edge of this roof and selecting the edge of the wall as well so I just press OK and that will leave me with a dormer so if I tab out now you can edit these bottom sections of these uh, walls a little bit you know if you want to tidy it up tidy it up um, you can come in here and you know draw exactly what you need um, for that but I'm not going to do that here just for the sake of time um, so I'll cancel editing there and then if I just go in I'll just tab these I'll just grab this one, this one, and this wall here. I'll just hide this for the moment. And this will show you that the dormer cut is there and operating. Okay. So that's kind of uh, everything, um, kind of very, very basically, I suppose, showing the various different types of roofs um, that you, the, the various roof configurations and how, how uh, how
how they come together. As I said before, if, you, if, you, if you're if you looking for any different videos on this, if you're looking for a different type of roof and you're struggling to figure out how to do that, um, please do leave a comment in the description and I'll be sure to get back to you. I might even do another video um, if needed. And um, yeah, if you could like and subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful. Um, I'll also be putting up a Patreon as well. So if you if you found this really helpful and you have the price of the point of a pint to spare or price price of a coffee, that would be much much appreciated. Um, thank you very much and have a nice day. Thanks.